In this video, we will use the TI Inspire CX cost to use Binome PDF and Binome CDF to solve for three problems. First, it's important to note that Binome PDF is used for a particular number of success, while Binome CDF is used for cumulative number of success. So our first problem, we flip a dice five times. What is the probability that the dice will land on three exactly two times? So this will be a binome PDF problem. So we'll hit menu, we'll go to statistics, then we'll go to distributions, we will go, go down to binome PDF. So here, number of trials. In our case, we have five trials and the probability of success of landing on our particular value is one in six. So one over six and the number of success we have is two. Let's just double check. So we flip a dice five times, so n is five. What is the probability that the dice will land on three exactly two times? There is a one six chance of landing on three for a dice, and we want to land on three exactly two times. So that is correct, number of trials is five. Probability of landing on three is one out of six. So this is correct, number of trials is five. The probability of landing on three is a one six and the number of times that we will land on three will be two times. So simply hit OK and we get our value, 0.16. And another thing we could do is hit menu, we go to statistics, we go to distributions, we go to binome PDF. Uh, we would have said five and what if we just said one out of six? The X value is optional, so let's not even put it. We hit OK, we get all of this. We want to know the value at exactly two times. It always starts out at zero, one, two, three, four, five. That's an, that's an important note. If you didn't put the two, it always starts at zero, one, two. So it's the same value. Now we want to flip a dice five times. What is the probability that at least once you land on three? So this problem is pretty easy to do if you say that you never land on three. What is the probability that you never land on three? From there, I can simply say one minus that value. So I would have one minus menu, go to statistics, go to distributions, go to binome PDF. Uh, number of trials is five. The probability is one six to land on that particular value. And the X value, which is optional, will say zero. Hit okay, and we get 0.598. An important note, I solve these problems manually by hand in, a, in, the, in the last video. This video, I'm just showing you guys how to do this on the calculator. That's why I'm not really explaining too much. So flip a coin eight times. What is the probability that no more than three are heads? So this is a cumulative type of problem. So I'll go menu, I will go to statistics, I will go to distribution, I will go to binome um, CDF. So right here, uh, number of trials is eight. Probability of success is one in two. Let's just double check because we're flipping a coin. That's why it's one in two. One divided by two. The lower bound will be zero and the upper bound will be three. Now let's just confirm everything. Flip a coin eight times. So N is eight. It's a coin. So we know that the probability of success is one in two. It says no more than three. So we could have zero. We could have one we could have two, and we could have three heads. So this is correct, simply hit OK, and this is our final answer. And that's all we need to do to use the binome PDF and binome CDF in the TI Inspire